are heading up to the peak at Belmac. Now this is a freehold property by MCR right here on Belmac Q, which is about 110 meters from Hapa Villa MRT station. And of course, this is the Long Pasir Panjang Road. on this five bedroom duplex home tour and we're gonna to head on to see why this might be a rare find right now in the year 2023. Let's go. You must think that I'm a restless case because I ran away, because I ran away. If you listen to the words I say, you know that I'm okay, you know it's just a phase. Alright, so welcome and as we were listing this particular five bedroom penthouse property, I was trying to ascertain whether this property will hit into a sweet spot zoning in about four to six years time. Because the very first thing that came to our mind when we first caught on on this particular listing was that the rarity of it versus what is happening in the surrounding pricing dynamics. Will this then bring on a very good rejuvenation for the entire Pasir Panjang area in the next four to six years time, particularly for Pig at Bellwing. And for this particular episode at our penthouse series, we want to talk about this four and a half million dollars property. Baby, I've been busy missing you. Say, have you missed me too? Say, have you missed me too? First up, to understand about the pricing, we have to first look at what is happening in the entire region of Pasir Panjang. But in particularly to this development that was being launched just about a couple of weeks back, and that is of course the very beautiful Terra Hill. And what was astonishing was it's the prestige series and the most prized property right there is going at about eight over million dollars. And its five bedroom penthouse is going at an average of about 5.3 to about 5.6 million dollars, ranging from different views as well as sizes. But as we tread down one MRT station from Pasir Panjang to Hapa Villa MRT. This brings us to pick at Balmac. Now this particular property, just to give you a little bit of back brief history was that back then, the most common types of penthouses that were available in the market were penthouses with all its bedrooms being flush on level 1 with a stairway to level 2 being a blank roof terrace. And that is what we call a duplex penthouse with roof predominantly occupying level 2 of your space. Now this penthouse is a little bit different because your roof terrace space is being all pushed out into your level 1 balcony zone as well as your level 2 balcony zoning right outside all your bedrooms. Now just have a look at the floor plate right here. This is a 5 bedroom penthouse with 2508 square feet in total strata space. You have 3 bedrooms on level 1, you have 2 huge mega bedrooms on level 2 and you still get to enjoy that roof terrace space that a lot of duplex penthouse owners are trying to look out for. Up, you want to ensure that your level one has a powder room. The so powder room means that there's no shower facilities and this is purely for your guests to utilize and powder rooms are usually for premium units situated beside the living and dining zone. Secondly, internal stairwell is of course the preferred choice because you don't have to worry about a stairway that is located at the balcony where you have internal stairway is actually safe for kids as well. Thirdly is that when you have a nice spread of bedrooms that is being populated on level one and two, you do not have to worry about your parents having to climb up and down the stairs so you can give one of the very good sized bedrooms to your parents right on level one and the other two bedrooms you can still utilize as a kids room or a study room or entertainment room. Now I want to show you this part first. So this room currently is a guest room walkable with sliding panel to the balcony space that I was talking about. Currently it's fitted with a huge queen with two side tables and you have a mirror image guest bedroom right here as well and this big bedroom currently is being utilized as the games room and this room can also be like a study room or work from home office now the bonus is you have a huge common bathroom on level one so that takes care of all the needs as well as tick off all the check boxes that a lot of home buyers are looking for when they hunt for a home the living and dining is also done in what we call a white landscape layout fashion so this is what we call a white landscape layout whereby the dining and living all fronts towards the balcony huge couch, you got a very nice space in the living zoning and this is what we call the triangle method of hosting. So this triangle zone is being formulated from living as one focal point, dining as the other focal point, dry kitchen as the third focal point and then of course we extend the fourth focal point back into the kitchen as well. So anybody that's preparing meals inside, they are not segregated away from the rest of the family members. You can still chat, that's a very nice thing to have. If you look at the floor plan, you do not waste a lot of space at the foyer zoning. You have this dry kitchen with bottom storage right here. This is collapsible system so if I want to remove Move these four chairs here. Let's say you are not entertaining, you can actually close this up as well. And this can be a nice open area. So of course you want to keep your breakfast table open. Just need to pull it up. This can be a nice breakfast zoning for your kids to enjoy breakfast together. So you also have this huge kitchen space right here. 
The way that it's been configured is that the moment you enter, you have a right pantry here for your worktop area. So of course you can put your microwave oven and stuff like that. You already have a built-in Dell Trish oven right here on this long panel. This is your fridge space as well as a nice working top here with burner system. These are all Dell Trish appliances. It comes with a built-in yard zoning as well as a WC yard bath here and also your home shelter for additional storage. So in terms of check boxes for layout configuration, we almost take off everything. If you have not seen our floor plan series for pan houses, do have a look at this particular video where we break down all the eight very common types of penthouse layouts in Singapore. pick a Belmac situated on the circle line and this line connects towards Vivo City it connects backwards towards Bona Vista and One North you're just right sitting from Kenridge Hill Park as well as the entire NUH and NUS is behind you so that is actually towards the tail end of Pasir Panjang if you drive down a little bit you get West Coast Beach as well and you get to see a little bit of the hillside area of the Pasir Panjang Hill zoning now this area predominantly is being dominated by freehold properties however if you want to hunt for a big land size plot like pick a Belmac it's extremely rare so this plot here sits 180 units predominantly 100 units belongs to three bedrooms the two bedrooms is about 20 to 30 units four bedrooms minority percentage and when you come to penthouses there are only 36 of them out of the 36 six of them belongs to the three bed penthouse but the 30 of them belongs to this very rare breed of five beta penthouse that is almost extremely difficult to find in the entire market right now now i want to bring you to this view right here because if you do have a look at this that entire zone is actually the Pasir Panjang terminal all this are part of the Greater Southern Waterfront plan. They will be moved towards the Toa zoning. And in future, of this entire zoning is under massive master plan development. However, you might think that, hey, Greater Southern Waterfront might be a little bit longer. It might take place over the next 20 years, and that might be true. But the most important thing right now is that why is this particular penthouse after our analysis having that very nice trajectory in the next four to six years? That is because of the price point that Terra Hill has brought to this area. And of course, that's wonderful news for all the residents right here. And why has that price benchmark brought about great news for the entire Pasir Panjang area is because when you look at the performance of that being transacted, it means that there's an ongoing demand from buyers that can actually afford the $2,004 to $2,600 PSF benchmark pricing. And in future, with Greater Salon Waterfront right at the front in the reclaimed land zoning, I'm not sure whether there will be extreme high rise right there, but if there were to be, it is also great news for you because if any land plots were to come from reclaimed land, that would be from the government land sales and that would definitely definitely be 99 years, but this, you're owning a freehold status right here. And coming back to the price point, this is of course now going at less than $1,800 per square foot, freehold in status, so it hits a lot of checkpoints on our mode analysis. Firstly, the MRT effect is being taken off, rental demand effect is being taken off because if you look at the amount of rental transactions here, the rental rates are doing fantastically well, the vacancy rate is extremely low, and a lot of the owners here are not selling, simply because it is freehold right beside the MRT station, so it's extremely rare. So to sum up, with Terra Hill doing at about 2.4 to 2.6, what this means is that when the first-hand owners eventually start to put their properties into the resale market in four to six years time they will definitely call for at least their entry price plus $300 PSF for a minimum exit in order for them to make sense and that will bring the entire zoning right here to see prices asking for about two six all the way to three thousand dollars per square foot so for this you're entering at one thousand eight hundred dollars per square foot overall quantum it hits the trifactor sweet spot as well because you're entering a huge size apartment at 2508 you get five bedrooms freehold in status and it's going for $1,800 per square foot at 4.2 million, which is a sizable quantum. In comparison to about four to six years later, you are still at $1,800 per square foot entry, but you can definitely see that disparity effect from $1,800 all the way to the future asking price of about two six to $3,000 in this entire vicinity. So you have this very good $800 to $1,200 difference in terms of a disparity, and this creates a very nice safety benchmark for you to hold on to this property. Right here, pick a bell, man. So we're heading up. Nowadays, 
We talked also about the rarity that developers are really not building penthouses anymore. One of the reasons is because it doesn't incentivize them to really build mega penthouses compared to the past where there was like some GFA bonus and stuff like that. But right now, if you notice, the most common type of penthouses actually are penthouses with extreme high ceiling. And these are what we call the loft penthouses. But I want to show you this view here. So when you buy a duplex like this, this is not the gigantic roof terrace size because the beauty of this type of penthouse is that this attracts families that want a lot of building space and they want more bedrooms that separation feel so one benefit of having a duplex version is let's say you have friends over your you have relatives over you're hosting people your kids can actually come up to level two rest in their junior master can continue to watch soccer on level one together with your friends and families and uh, that doesn't really affect them because you have two different levels if you notice we're actually on a higher elevation than our neighbors block in front of us so the beauty of this particular block is that it is away from the main road you don't get the road noise but at the same time you get an unblocked view of the sea view right here. So if you were to look left, let me just zoom in from my phone here. You're gonna see reflections at Capel Bay. This is the view that you're getting. Say hi to Josephine. This area, I think it's beautifully done in the sense that you can walk out from your family zoning. The sliding panel access is both for your master as well as from your junior. It's actually pretty wide because you have about one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven tiles in terms of width. You can use this area to be like an outdoor space as well. For level one, you, if you want to use that huge balcony space to be your outdoor dining, that's also doable. So as we come back, I want to show you the master first because the master is awesome. Firstly, you still get the high ceiling that you're looking for. There's a little bit of pitch roof here because this is like a, the attic zoning right here. And of course, that's the design of Pink and Belmac top level. Notice that because we are of a plot ratio of 1.4, this entire project highest level is 5th and 6th floor. And 5th and 6th floor belongs to the penthouse owner. Level 1 will be the ground floor, 2, 3, 4 on the intermediate level. So in totality, 9 blocks, every level has 4 units, which means there are only 36 penthouses and only 30 of them are 5 beta penthouse, which makes this even extremely rare. We're gonna have a look at the his and her bath because this comes by default. Beautifully done, huge ensuite. You get the long bath here, standing shower here, marble finish. Finishing. You got this gigantic size and when we flip over, you have a dressing table area here, four panels of wardrobe space, king bed positioning. And then as you come towards the junior master, junior master is also huge. Currently, it's being fitted with like a double decker bed. Also, it's actually pretty good in size. If you want to have your three kids occupy the rooms downstairs, so there are three bedrooms, each of them can take one room. And I think that is a fantastic combination for a five bedroom family. So as we head down, in terms of buying a penthouse, is also the maintenance fee because you're getting the biggest square footage. You want to know how much is the maintenance fee. In terms of the maintenance fee per quarter, is at about $2,100 per month, plus minus GST a little bit. So per month, is only about $700. So for this huge size, $700 in this particular zoning at D5 RCR zoning is considered very palatable and very affordable. If you love to look at this particular penthouse in detail, give a call to our listing managers. The numbers are right down below. Contact Eunice and Kevin, and they'll be very happy to show the place. And meantime, thank you for staying tuned with our Pan House Home Tour series. My name is Melvin Lim, Propter Lim Brothers. It's always happy to show the place. So I was trying to ascertain why this particular five bedroom pan house might be a super... Okay, listen. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 we're going to do vlog. Hey, this is not yet launched. We want to have a look at this particular... And for this particular episode, 